So, we're going to rig up the, uh, the nine way here and have a go and see if we can um, get one on fly now. So welcome back to another episode of Cars and Crew and welcome back to an episode that could be quite phenomenal because uh, I've been invited by Aaron Paul, son of Angus Paul, to go fishing with them as they have a dead leg going back to the area where I'm flying out to. So they've, they've been up here with clients and have been fishing with clients over the last couple of days uh, and have now finished their duty so to speak and are heading back to uh, where they are based which is in Melindi. So the game plan is that we are essentially setting up the plot lines as you can see behind me uh, and setting out our spread and we're going to go for some sailfish and whatever else is kicking about. Now there's a lot, a lot of bait, a lot of everything at the moment so we shouldn't have too much of a problem inshallah but folks I'm going to go upstairs and I'm going to speak to Aaron a little bit and find out a little bit more about what he does to put his clients in the right place at the right time and what tactics he uses to implement into his fishing to get, make sure the clients have a fantastic time. If you like the videos, please like, comment, subscribe. Let's go and have a chat to Aaron and find out a little bit more about what he does. Right, Aaron? Yeah. So talk to me about what you're looking for when you're trying to take clients out fishing. So depending on what the client wants to do, for everything. You can cater for people that want to go marlin fishing, sail, sailfish, jigging, popping, fly fishing, everything. Everything, yeah. Sweet, mate. Yeah. Well, let's hope we, uh, we get some, eh? Yeah, we'll see you then.
samaki hapa shele. Folks, first sale. Um, so fishing started off pretty good. Let's see if we can get some more. That is fish number four, Dorado. There were three or four sailies underneath the outer rig as we were pulling that in. So we're gonna have a, have a look, see if we can't um, encourage one of them up onto um, onto the lines and get one.
Сервас, 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 сервас. Сервас, сервас. Fanya vadi kidogo hapo. Vadi? Ah, vadi kidogo. Explain to the viewers what what the idea is with the pitch bay and everything. Okay. So no, with the pitch bay, the uh, main switch is we we have teasers so like you see on the birds. Yeah. Um, we tease the fish out. The guy throws bait in the water. I'll tease them by hand um, to the back of the boat, and then tease it right up where to where the bait is. And then pull the teaser out, and what the selfish is aggressive, it just comes straight up on the bait onto the onto the from the teaser to the bait, and yeah, takes it and freeze pull it. It's a circle look, so it just gets hooked from the side. Um, yeah, pretty much. That's how it goes. Love it. So basically, what happened was this. The bait was hooked, and then basically there was not last line on the reel, so then it, it went back. And when I was free spooling, it was went on another lure and hooked on another lure, so it was basically hooked on two two fish, it was aggressive fish. Yeah, smashed it. Yeah. Yo! Ah, oh, no, no. Two minutes. We're Two minutes. On the fish again. <laughs>
Thunder. Yo! All right, you legends. So we're gonna rig up the uh, the nine way here and have a go and see if we can um, get one on fire now. All right. So so much to Aaron's pleasure, uh, I missed quite a few sailfish um, so far and as you can see they are incredibly difficult to hook and that is what fly fishing for sailfish is usually like. It's not a red letter day every single day uh, and you do not hook every single fish that you go after but they are an utter pleasure to even cast at and that's what fly fishing for shellfish really is about. It's about the excitement of seeing their dorsal fin come out, it's the excitement of seeing their bill come out and it's excitement of seeing them take your fly, turn away with it, and then nine times out of ten, spit it back out. We're going to carry on fishing here and see if we can't get one for you. Uh, I'm sure after quite a few attempts, we will eventually get one. Yeah! Fuck it! Like around the top, just a lot around the loop here, and then it, and then it, and then it took off. No, surprisingly not. I will do. I will do. Oh, 
Yeah, I got about 70 yards. Green red. What are you leaving? What are you leaving? Hold on, great. Got it. Right. You got it. <laughs> what an insane experience that was. Ridiculous on a nine way. I mean, it was taking, it was like taking a knife to a gunfight. Stupid idea. And I don't know if you guys would have seen on the GoPro or what the GoPro picked up, but there was one on the right hand teaser. And I sort of roll casted up to this selfish, which is probably about five foot away. And it came out completely smoked. Smoked it. I set the hook, jammed it, burnt my fingers to shreds. Uh, the line wrapped around the rod, burnt an engraving into the rod and around the back of the reel seat. I have no idea how the, the backing didn't break. Folks, if you like this video, please like, comment, subscribe. If you want to get involved in doing something like this, I'll leave the links to uh, the Kingfisher website down below so that you can contact them directly and they will hook you up with a naughty deal to come and do exactly what I've just done. All right then, so I just got word from Aaron that we're quite far away, so we're going to boost back into shore. Uh, it's been an incredible day, as you can see. We had so, so, so many fish. Guys, if you want to get hold of these people, um, the links are down below. Please do get hold of them. As you can see, they have an incredible team, great crew, great captains, great boats, great equipment, um, and you'll just have a great time. So, if you want to get hold of them, please follow the links down below. As ever, folks, if you like the videos, please like, comment, subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.